What's going on guys? I hope you guys are all doing well during this coronavirus thing. So basically what we're gonna be working on today is the fuel rail and we're gonna be changing from early style injectors to newer style injectors uh, on an early style fuel rail. So I'll show you everything that you're gonna need to do. So let's jump right into it. So once you guys actually remove this, so the, this is your fuel rail here. Once you remove it from the plenum, it's pretty simple. Um, just take your time with it. Uh, if these haven't been done in so long, these will be super tough to actually get, uh, take off. So now the early style um, that I've always dealt with have these round uh, Phillips head screws here, and these are a pain to get off. Um, I think someone must have did these injectors because these have different bolts than these. And the ones that I've dealt with, like I said before, had these round ones. These ones actually can just throw a socket on, so it's a little bit easier. But these ones are a pain to get. The best way to take these off is not by stripping them like this. It's by getting a pair of vice grips and just uh, grabbing the head of it and pinching down and then turning. Um, you'll hear it crack, and then you'll hear it crack, do the other one, and then you'll be good to go. Then you can actually just take this Phillips and start unscrewing them. So you're gonna go around and you're gonna unscrew all of these and then we'll get the caps off and then I'll show you the next step from there. Okay guys, so now once you get these caps off of your fuel injectors, I just wanted to give you a little insight on here. So there is a rubber um, and like metal insulator on each of them. So it sits right in this like little valley here. So um, on only one of them, they basically popped out, but the work that I've done before on a fuel rail, I've had like multiple fallout. So you just don't want to lose those because if you are going to reuse these caps, uh, you, obviously you're going to want to keep those. Um, but for this being an early style fuel injector to a new style uh, fuel injector install to an early style fuel rail, we don't need these caps. We're going to be using a different set of caps because they won't fit around the heads of the new style injectors. But going on from there, Basically, the next step, the best thing that I've learned to do for this next step is to remove these actual uh, injectors is what you're going to want to do is spray a little bit of like PB Blast or WD-40, kind of lubricate um, the, the top O-rings here. And then what we're going to do is grab those vice grips again, and I'll show you the next step. Okay, guys, so for this next step, basically, I just did the first one just to get it out, just to show you the setup, but you're going to grab some vice grips. You're going to put it on the sides of the injector. You don't want to put it too tight, just barely enough, just so you could be able to wiggle it. And then, as you can see, where this top and uh, top O-ring is for the fuel injector, that's the main one that we're trying to pop. There's also a lower one, but this is like the hardest one to get open. So what you'd want to do is basically, as you're swiveling like this, you're gonna to wanna to apply bottom pressure to the bottom of the injector with your opposite finger here. So as I'm rotating this, I'm using this finger to put an upward pressure through the rail and I'm rotating. And then it'll, no joke, just pop right out. And that's an early style fuel injector for you. So now as you guys can see, I have all of them out. So now the next step, you what you'd wanna do is uh, you wanna check for the lower O-rings. So for instance, this injector here has an upper O-ring right here and then a lower O-ring right here. That's basically how it sits. This lower O-ring sits in the rail. There you go, like right down in there where there, that, that valley is. If you see, I think out of all of them I pulled out, only one actually came out with that O-ring. So you're going to have to go back in and go to each one and get those O-rings out. They might have, they might be stuck in there because like debris or whatnot. Um, the best way that I found out to do that is just grab like a little flathead like this guy. Just go in there and pop it right out. And there you go. So you're just going to go ahead and do that for all the six of the holes. Okay, and now since you get all those O-rings out of here, uh, basically what I'm going to do now is take off uh, these fuel lines because I did buy the Z1 kit uh, for all these, all like the new upgraded fuel lines. So I'm just going to take those off, clean that up. Um, I'm also going to take the ground off right here off the back of the fuel rail because what I'm going to do is let this, let the fuel rail actually sit in some simple green. I'm going to let it sit for a couple of hours, come back, hit it with a wire brush, and then clean it all up. All right guys, so now that I have everything apart, so now the fuel rail is in two pieces, 
All I'm gonna do is fill this bucket up. I'm gonna spray it down with uh, some simple green. Just start spraying it. And then uh, once I'm spraying it, I'm just gonna let it sit for a little bit. Let all that like nasty corrosion and nasty stuff just sit around, hang out, soak for a bit. I'm gonna also, what I like to do is run some uh, warm water also with this. So it kind of helps like get all that nasty crap off. And then I'll no joke, just go grab a uh, like metal like wire brush and I'll just start scrubbing it down, scrubbing it down and I'll make it look, it won't look brand new, but it'll look pretty freaking good. So like I said, I'm, I'm going into really detail with all this stuff. So I might as well for letting all this soak. I'm going to go over the, uh, early style to new style injector differences in how we're going to be able to make this work in an early style fuel rail. This is our early style injector here. So these all rings sit here just like that. So the differences you can tell by like the connector type looks different than this. So this one's like a little bit wider. It's got uh, more like I would say teeth depth for like the plug to plug into. And then the injector itself looks different. The head of it, the nipple part of it, um, this lower O-ring here is different than here. And then this lower O-ring is like more like mid shaft. So early style, newer style. Alrighty guys, so basically I have everything here laid out. So I have my six injectors, brand new, fa uh, new phase injectors. I have, like I said before, the Z-Spec design uh, entire engine bay kit, and it actually comes with the fuel injector fasteners. So that's these guys here, our bolts to bolt it into the fuel rail. And then um, I have the adapter kit here from Z1. As you can see, these O-rings were already on here, but I'm gonna replace all them because I bought all brand new ones from Z1. So I'm gonna replace all those. And then we have our injector bracings here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go get a little bit of oil because what we need to do is lubricate all of these O-rings. The reason being is when we were trying to put it into the rail, we want it to go in smoothly and we don't want to tear the O-ring. So I'm going to go get like a little thing just to basically enough so I can put on my finger and just go around each O-ring and do it. So all I'm going to do here is use this Q-tip, get my oil, old oil filter, get some oil on there. And we're going to lube up our first one. So we're going to lube up this bottom O-ring first. And then we're going to go to the top O-ring. Okay, so after lubing up this O-ring, what I'm going to do here now is apply my new Z1 O-ring to the Z1 adapter kit. Like so. And we're going to just push this cap downward until it seats properly like that. And that's how it looks. And then basically what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna lube up this O-ring here and probably do the top one really quick again. And then we're gonna put it actually into the rail. And after you have those O-rings lubed up, basically it should be very simple to just be able to push it down. I literally used two of my thumbs and just pushed it down and it sat perfectly. So then from here, what we'll do is grab our bracket, lay the bracket down, and then pretty simple, go through and screw these bad boys down. So the Z1 kit or the Z-Spec kit comes with a lock washer and then a washer. So obviously you want to have the lock washer closer to the uh, head of the bolt, and then you're going to put the washer under that. And then you'll torque these down. Okay guys, so now you guys see that I finished the swap here from early style injector to new style injector. 
um, everything seated. The only thing that I would say is that the next thing what you guys would do before you can actually put this in the car is uh, you got to make sure that you get these bottom seals for uh, the plenum. So the fuel rail to plenum seals, um, this is an early style one. So you have to get early style ones for this also. I got all those brand new and they're in that bag. Actually, you can see them right there. So that's what you're going to do. And then you'll get uh, my fuel lines from Z1. I'll put all those on this and you can just plug and play, put it right in and these should be good to go. And then the next step that we're going to run to now is uh, splicing the wiring into the harness. So then we know that where you can just plug and play. Okay guys, so back at the motor now, uh, basically to finish up this fuel injector, uh, early style to new style swap. Um, these are those plenum uh, fuel rail to plenum gaskets here. So these O-rings here. So we're gonna have to take these out clean up that area a little bit, and then from there, uh, put in the new ones, and then we can actually drop the fuel rail in there. Um, the main thing that you wanna be worried about with all this is obviously you can see all this debris and stuff. So I'm gonna have to kind of clean all this up before I can actually, before I wanna do any of that, just the fact that I don't wanna get any debris in the fuel system at all. Okay guys, so here's our uh, fuel rail to plenum seal kit. So now all I'm gonna do is take these out of the package and just lay them down in there. So it's really simple. All you have to do is just place uh, your fuel rail into those uh, seals there, and that's about it. Um, clearly, this isn't done yet, because I'm still gonna have to get that those new fuel lines in from uh, Z1. But uh, for this project, the early style to new style injector swap, this is practically it. So now after looking at the actual fuel rail uh, to plenum setup, then all you're gonna have to do is get your connectors. So as you guys can see, the two connectors are different. So we're looking at this connector here. This is the new style injector connector. And then this is the old style. So you can see they're different. Um, the easiest way that I think it is, is would be just to depin this. So you can um, depin, take this plastic cap off, depin this one, and put this plastic cap on that one. Uh, or you can splice into the wires. So you just splice down in here, uh, open up the like uh, wiring casing here, see what colors go to where, and then you would just match them up to these. And once you, once you match them up to all six, you're practically good to go. So totally depends on what you wanna do. Um, for me, uh, I kinda like keeping things as stock as possible. So I might just try to depin, put the uh, new pins in this and try that. Um, but if anything, if that doesn't work, then I might just have to splice and I'll keep you guys updated on that. But that's practically it for a early style injector swap to a new style injector swap with still using the early style uh, lower plenum and fuel rail. So pretty simple. But with that being said, thank you for the support. I'm going to have a ton of content coming up for you guys. So again, subscribe to our channel up here. And if you guys are looking for any extra footage, click one of these links here. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.